We are currently in hurricane season, so hopefully you have your emergency kits ready to go because hurricanes can lead to dangerous conditions and power outages, and those conditions can lead to accidents and emergencies. Joining us this morning to talk about what is emergency medicine is Dr. Spencer Smith from the Wilcox Medical Center on Kauai. Good morning, Dr. Smith. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. Good morning. Now, first off, can you explain what is emergency medicine? Yeah, so emergency medicine is one of the newer specialties recognized by the American Board of Medical Specialties. It was first established in 1972, which was right before I was born. Um, emergency physicians are specially trained to stabilize and treat anything that comes through the door, from keiki to kapuna and everyone in between. Uh, we see trauma or medical illness, we see it all. Um, you know, most people don't schedule their emergencies ahead of time, so we're, we're often in situations where multiple patients will present to the emergency department simultaneously. And that's an important part of our training as well, to work with our nurses to prioritize or triage our efforts in those situations. And that's why if you've ever been to the emergency room with a, with a non-life-threatening condition, you may have been asked to wait for a little while. Uh, but it's challenging, it's fast-paced, and I take real pride in caring for anyone and everyone, day or night, weekends or holidays, you know, regardless of their insurance plan or their ability to pay. Now, doctor, could you give us some examples of what types of cases you could see? That's one of the things I love the most about my work uh, is that when I show up for a shift, I really have no idea what, what I'm gonna be seeing that day. Uh, but chances are there's gonna be a mix of, a, of what we call acuity. So some people will have serious life-threatening conditions and others will be hurt or sick in a way that's not that serious. Um, but it, Wilcox, we average about 25,000 emergencies annually. And of those 25,000, approximately 450 will be trauma activations. We have motor vehicle crashes. We have people that fall and get hurt and get cut. And when the surf is up, we see surfboard injuries or people make contact with the reef. Um, so all kinds of medical and, and um, traumatic injuries as well. And that's what keeps it interesting and challenging. The Wilcox Medical Center recently renovated its emergency department. What can you tell us about that? So that was a tremendous undertaking and has uh, really modernized and transformed our emergency department. Uh, one of the major things is that we have two new trauma resuscitation bays. Um, they are larger and more modern than previously. Uh, the opening that goes into those trauma bays is twice as wide, so we're able to move gurneys and equipment and um, staff in and out of that space very efficiently. Um, we also have now some negative pressure rooms, which allow us to contain uh, infectious diseases or patients that we suspect may have an infectious disease like COVID, and those are connected directly to our ambulance bay. So that gives us a lot of confidence in containing um, infections. We have specialty spaces for pediatrics, for OBGYN, and uh, we also have a really nice uh, space, a, a room devoted to behavioral health and psychiatric problems. Now, doctor, we just entered hurricane season. Is there anything you'd like to say to our viewers so that they can be prepared? You know, it's been almost 30 years now, but a lot of the residents of Kauai still remember the, the devastation of Hurricane Aniki. And just a few years ago, we had some major flooding that, that was also quite devastating for our island. Um, and aside from the immediate safety concerns, one of the big problems with hurricanes and other natural disasters is the lack of power. 
And just earlier this year at Wilcox, we completed a, an upgrade on our generator system that is going to allow us to have uninterrupted power in the event of such a natural disaster in the future. And uh, we think that's going to be very helpful in uh, caring for the community going forward. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Smith, for your time and have a great day. Thank you. All right. Don't go anywhere, folks, because we'll have more traffic and weather when Wake Up Today continues.